Hello everyone and welcome back to Cause Streams TV. As always, I am Cause, and this week we're going to talk about how the IO songs have gone way up on my Blood Death Knight and Retribution Paladin. I was blasting keys last week, and you guys got to check this out. It was a great week. On top of going over some of the IO we got on both of those characters, we're going to talk about the fact that I played my Demon Hunter. We're going to talk about some mop remix, all those alts that I was working on. A few of them are ready to get blasted up to 70. And then we're going to just talk about what's going on this week because I've had major IT issues all over my house. Computers are just not my thing this week. So let's jump right into it and let's start talking about the Blood Death Knight. So jumping right into the Death Knight, he didn't get much for item level. We were able to actually upgrade some of his remaining pieces we finished the legs up to 528 we finished the belt up to 528 we finished the hands up to 528 and then we also upgraded his bracers to 528 so in total he got about one item level he went from 527 to 528.94 not a bad upgrade on the dk but the cool thing this is where it gets really good the dk this week actually ended up scoring some fantastic io i'm recording this just before the just before the reset so again you're gonna see the old a fixes but let's talk about what we completed on the death night last week and let's just let's jump into it we have last week we ran a couple tens to help some people get their final portal and because the DK only had nines, eights or nines, that means we got some IO to talk about. We started last week at 2570. We're finishing this week at 2672. That is over a hundred IO increase on the death knight which was completely unexpected but what did we run last week well we did a 10 aa giving us 13 points we did a 10 Notharis giving us 24 points we ran an 11 av giving us 39 points and then we also completed a 10 halls of infusion giving us 26 points really cool to see the death knight getting some keys done and he felt great i am looking forward to the the talent change is coming in the pre-patch on Tuesday. By the time this video is releases, the pre-patch will be live. So I'm looking forward to really trying out the Death Knight and seeing what he can do now with the new talent system. It's going to feel fantastic. But overall, I'm really happy with how the, D the DK did. We ended up getting over 100 IO and we're going to maybe push that a little higher this week since there's more 10 keys that people need. We even may be doing some 12s. Let we'll see what the week gives us. But let's jump into the vault. All right, and we're going to jump into the Death Knight's Vault here. So for those who are wondering, this is right after the patch went live. It is 12, 19 a.m. Wednesday morning, and we finally got in. Obviously, most of the add-ons are broken, so this is why you see my UI has changed significantly since the previous video cut. So let's just jump right into it quickly. The Death Knight should have the... I don't think he's going to have any raid slots, but we'll have at least two Mythic Vault slots. So let's see what he gets. We are opening it in on Holy Spec, as always. Okay, for a minute there, I didn't think it was going to load. Looks like we have 522 legs. We already have 528, and then we have 522 wrists versus mastery. Heavy on the mastery, we're not going to take that because we have enough of the mastery already. So we're going to take the tokens and see if we can socket anything. So DK is going to start with an 11 Noltheris. And the plan for this week with the DK, now that we have our new talents that we get to play with, as you can see, most of the talents are gone, especially on the class side. So I am excited to play with some of the changes to the, and the changes we can now do on the blood tree. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some of that this week. We're going to be pushing up some keys. We may do some 12s this week and see if we can get up to 3k IO. We'll see how that works out. So that's really the plan with the DK. We've got raid on Thursday. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to be knocking out some keys with the crew. All right, let's jump into the second character. We got some high IO stonks on. We're going to jump into the Retribution Paladin. Now, last week I said I wanted to go from 502 eye level up to about 520. I didn't get that lucky. I wasn't getting the gear, but we were getting a lot of aspect crests. So the best we could do for now is 509. So we went from 502 to 509. Unfortunately, I don't have the Drake or Worm crest, so I can't upgrade my gear right now. This is the exact opposite problem of what I usually have on alts. I have a ton of the Worm and Drake quests, but I have no aspects. In this case, it's the complete reverse on the Paladin, so he's stuck at 509. Taking a look, that as you can see, we didn't really get much for gear upgrades. We got a couple things, though. We got uh, 506 Hero Track Waste from the Brackenhide that we did. And then we also were traded the Bloodied Wedding Band, which I'm not even running. 
because it was actually a DPS loss to run it. So that's why I'm not running that, but we did get those two items. So that, you know, in theory, if you're looking at my eye level, I'm 510, but I'm only uh, 509 equipped. On top of that, we catalyzed our hands because we, we had Hero Track, and they are now 506. And then a couple of the other upgrades we did, we got our anvil up to 528 from 525. And then we also got a hero track headpiece. This is the one we got from the Mark of Mastery because we hit over 2 KIO. So when you hit 2 KIO, you get the Mark of Mastery. So I took that and I got the headpiece because that was the one that was still champion track. So now we have a hero track headpiece as well. Three out of six, 512. So those were the upgrades on the Paladin. From there, let's jump into what really happened last week. So we were at 1897 IO when we finished the week. Technically, it was like 1500 for DPS. And because last week we spent so much time clearing up all our tank keys, there were only like fives and fours and stuff, right? We now have officially just a DPS IO. And we went from 1897 total last week to 2318 massive 500 io up upgrade on the paladin and that's mainly from running a lot of eights and nines and we even got into a 10 av i was super excited the paladin's actually doing significant damage now i'm actually feeling very comfortable with him running around i'm, I'm blasting on him and so he feels good i plan to continue this journey because there's still some fort keys that i need to finish off but let's talk about what did we complete last week we did two bracken hides actually we did a eight bracken hide which originally gave us 12 points and then we also did a nine bracken hide which also gave us seven points we did an eight no theris which actually gave us 82 points we did an eight no kudo offensive this one gave us uh 80 points this 10 av because it was our highest key gave us a ton of io this one gave us 108 points which was a massive jump we did a 9 aa which was a lot of fun we got 87 points for that and lastly we did a eight calls of infusion which gave us 45 points so ton a ton of io increase on the palette and he felt very fun to play i plan to continue playing him because i'm just i'm having a blast I'm curious what Tuesday is going to look like with the pre-patch and how the talents change, how the range is going to change, because I know they're saying they were looking at why some melee classes have a longer range, others don't. I really hope that Paladin remains somewhat of a not-up-close class, so you can still attack and throw hammers from a bit of a distance. It makes it really fun and kind of feels like you're playing a slight range, so I'm hoping that doesn't affect the Paladin playstyle too much, because I am really enjoying this, and I would maybe it might be taking this into the war within. And that's it for the IO and the upgrade got on the paladin let's now jump into what his vault looks like all right and next up we have the paladin we're going to open his vault in retribution and like i said add-ons are not working so this is why the ui looks a little different don't be too surprised but let's see what he gets in the vault because we had all eight of our mythic keys done and we've got mythic track gear across the board 522 crit verse feet very good upgrade we've got the homeland raid horn with speed on it and then we also have the crit haste bracers with a socket that's really good so it's really between taking the bracers which are crit haste or taking the feet so let's run a quick sim and i'll be right back okay so unfortunately due to the patch it is saying that the boots are a 752 dps increase and then the wrists are a 796 dps increase however my overall dps is showing at 80,000. so i think there's a bit of a problem and there is a disclaimer currently saying that the sim should be taken with a grain of salt I kind of like the wrists mainly because they already have a socket in them and haste is one of our better stats although we are very high on haste right now so going with the verse crit probably wouldn't hurt just to even out our stats a little yeah let's go with the verse crit boots instead and then we'll take that and of course this week we're gonna knock out some more keys on the paladin anyway we start with a 10 halls of infusion so the plan for the Paladin this week, I'm going to continue to push his IO. There's a ton of fort keys I still don't even have, but I have zero score for, or I have threes and twos in the mix. So I want to improve that. It, Like I said, it's been a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see what the pre-patch brings to the class and how things change. I may even try Prop Paladin a bit. We'll see what the pre-patch is bringing. Then I could talk about that next week and tell you how it feels. Uh, so that's the plan for the Paladin. We're just going to continue blasting because he has been a lot of fun. 
In other retail news, we did actually play some of our all classes this week, and I'm going to start by jumping into the Demon Hunter. I decided I was just going to see what Demon Hunter feels like. They're only about 497, but I was like, hey, let's jump into some keys, do some low things, see how they feel. Funny enough, the Demon Hunter gets instantly invited to sevens, to sevens without any problems, and I'm able to do these keys without too much of a challenge. I was I was doing a seven Notharis where I had to solo Magmatus and Forge Match with their Goric from about 20%. I mean, good thing that I know how to play the class, and I'm a I'm a decent tank so I could survive because there are some sketchy moments in there but it's funny how the DH just gets instantly invited to these keys with, without any concern for his eye level or even the low IO that he had because I think my demon hunter only has like 14, 1500 IO nothing crazy but yeah so I got into some keys with him and doing some blasting demon hunter felt great as well obviously it's the meta tank of course it's going to feel fantastic so it was really fun to play I may even do some more keys on him right but ultimately what I wanted to do on the demon hunter is we will have two uh, mythic vault slots on him and actually a full LFR set of vault slots as well. The reason I did LFR is because I actually wanted the booleans. There is a vendor in Valdraken near where you spend your booleans where you can use one boolean to actually get transmogs for either weapons, offhands, armor, and I thought you know what, I don't really plan on gearing the demon hunter very far or very high, so I said you know what, why don't I take advantage to get some of these transmogs while they're available. So that's exactly what we did. We actually bought the four transmogs with the four booleans we got from the a mirror still raid because i just absolutely love it especially the charred Warglaive, it looks fantastic, and that's from Mythic Forax. So yeah, we did that. So we spent a lot of time in retail playing all of these alts and all of these different characters, and it was, again, it was a lot of fun. It was completely different from what we've been doing in Mop Remix and just maybe kind of puttering around in retail. So from that, let's take a look at what the Demon Hunter gets in their vault today. All right, so let's take a look at what we get in the vault in our Vengeance Demon Hunter, opening it in Vengeance spec. We should have some Raid and some Mythic Plus. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got the tier uh, legs from LFR, which is a significant, uh, uh, it's a downgrade, but it is tier. I guess we can upgrade what we have. We also have a LFR headpiece, which uh, probably won't take. We have the one-hander at 515. We did get a one-hander from uh, Mythic Plus as well, so, hmm, this is a tough one. But then we also have 509 Hero Track legs once again. So really, we already have two decent weapons, so we don't really need either of the legs. We don't really need the headpiece, because, I mean, it's an LFR head. I can get something from, like, a two that's higher. I think we're just going to take the weapon and sim it and see what it, it kind of gives us. I think it might actually be better than one of the ones we have. So, yeah, let's take the weapon, see what we get, and... We will play around with the Demon Hunter a little more this week. And surprise, surprise, just like the week before, we ran a couple keys on the Warrior. By a couple, I think I mean one. So we're going to open his vault in arms and see what he gets. We are looking at five, oh, 509 Heotrack headpiece, which we can catalyze. So that's what we will be doing on the Warrior. All right, and let's jump into some mop-related news. As you guys know, I was playing a ton of alts last week. I made a bunch of characters that I wanted to level because I just want to level them. And we have a few that are actually ready to blast right up to level 70. So let's just jump right into that, and we'll talk about other mop things later. First of all, we're starting with the chamois that I made, the orc chamois I talked about. Remember how I said last week that 31 was the lowest level I got? Well, I wasn't 31. I was actually 32, and, you know, someone called me out on that. So this week, I'm showing you that it is possible from level 31 to go to level 70. We've already... The recore it says we can open the mailbox we're ready to go we're going to open it at 31 this is proof that it is possible and the shammy is just going to blast right up to 70. super cool that we got this one done that means we have another 70 going into the war within that we now get to do mount runs in mount farms all of that fun stuff so uh oh we stopped at 60 because he needed to pull out some other stuff from a bag i had a little heart attack there i'm not gonna lie i was worried you know if i don't hit 70 that's kind of embarrassing but <gasps> It lied to me! Oh man, that is embarrassing! It said I could open my mail! Well... Boy, am I embarrassed. So coming off of that embarrassing stop at level 69, here are some of the other characters I have that should be ready to go. The 
the druid, the monk, and not the warrior or DK yet. These two are close. They will most likely hit 70 this week. But let's take a look and jump in and do the monk and hope that I don't embarrass myself once again. Wow, I can't believe that happened. Okay, so we're on the monk now. If you can see the weak aura, it says that we are minus three and minus two, meaning we have more tokens than what we need to hit 70. Man, I really hope I hit 70. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna push the button. We're going from 39. This one's a 39 because I actually did some more like heroics on him just to kind of get him to that point where I can get her up to 70. So yeah, this one should be a little further ahead. Let's see what happens though. Is this gonna be another pause and an embarrassment for me? Once again, 65, 66, come on, 67. Don't embarrass me twice. That'd be real bad. Whew. Okay, we hit level 70 on the monk. Man, that was scary. Let's use up some of these things here. Oh, I can't believe that happened. So let's go back and do the next character because I believe my druid should be ready to hit 70 as well. All right, and here we are on the druid. He only says minus 0.33, so I really really hope this works we're at level 32 also i guess because the chamois didn't work out i kind of lied that you can go from 31 i swear it the weak chorus said i could do it it's not my fault but let's start with the druid and let's push the button we're at level 32 currently and we're blasting up to what i hope is level 70 because we needed so little the weak aura keeps jumping around telling us different numbers oh no it says not to open it oh no i'm so scared now Oh no, it's telling me not to open it now. Oh, what's gonna happen? Are we gonna hit 70? Okay. Oh my goodness. I th If I had two failures in one week, I would be so embarrassed. But there we have it. The Druid is now level 70 as well. So let's talk about some of the other things we've done in Mop. Actually, we haven't really done much in Mop Remix. We've only really been doing the alts. We've been kind of blasting the alts, getting them up to high enough to do these level 70 tricks and honestly i'm kind of reaching the point now where i'm not as interested in making more alts the shadow priest i'm actually leveling isn't very fun i just suck at shadow priest that's the reality of it i should probably make it a holy or disc priest and see how that feels because i have played disc priest in the past but so i think the time in mop is starting to dwindle down we are getting near the end of mop remix anyway and our character is going to transfer over pre-patch is coming as well so i'll probably be focusing a lot on that in mop remix i may do one or two more carry raids heroics to help some people out just to help those who are kind of reaching the end and they want their achievements i'm thinking i may run at least one more mythic soo because i have all the toys all the mounts all the transmogs so we'll see what happens in the coming weeks for mop remix as it dwindles down and comes to an end but we have gained lots of 70s from this experience so once i get the final ones done we'll talk about that most likely next week to see how many we have and that is it for week 13 of season four in Dragonflight, which means what is the plan for week 14? Well, we've got a bunch going on. Tuesday is pre-patch talent changes. We get to try our specs out in the new form. We get to see the hero talents. Obviously, some of us have tried beta, so we know what to expect, so we know they're there. But I am looking forward to going on the Death Knight, trying out his new talents and pushing some keys. A few of us are eager to get in some dungeons and see what how these changes feel without the hero talents. Usually when pre-patches come, some classes are just overpowered because of the tuning and some classes are underpowered. So I'm really curious how this shakes up. By the time you hit 80 though in the new expansion, everything's gonna level out. So that's the plan for this week. Lots of change. We gotta try the Paladin, we gotta try to maybe the DH, maybe the Warrior, definitely the Blood DK. Maybe we'll try out the Monk even because he now has the double jump and a whole bunch of new abilities, which I'm really looking forward to. There's so many things we get to try and retail this week. So I'm really excited. Outside of that in MOP, we're going Going to finish off some of those 70s we're going to get get them up to 70 and then carry on and see whether i do or don't feel like making more like i said i'm kind of reaching that point of like i've got a lot of 70s and will i really level them all to 80 in the war within i have no idea i highly doubt it so that's the plan for this week i'm looking forward to trying all of these new things out i hope you all have had a fantastic week 13 i hope the vaults are very kind to you i hope you're enjoying everything that you do in the game and outside of it have a fantastic week everyone peace out oh well. well, let's uh hopefully this gives me 70 it's gonna be one embarrassing video when i post it oh man there it is level 70 woohoo